Hi, I'm Alex. I'm PJ Gold Professional. Welcome to the channel. Okay, half shots are a killer. We knife them, we chunk them, we don't seem to quite get them right any time. And we all kind of want to avoid them at our peril, right? If we get them, don't we? We, we lay off a bit further back. But after applying this, I can guarantee you will hit the half shots of your life. Now, this channel is powered by the viewers and Andy Mayer for this video has asked this. Chipping from 90 to 100 yards is no issue and around the greens. Most of us can probably relate to that bit. But, but, but here's the key. Half shot distance can be very hit and miss. More short and thinning it. Right, Andy, let's sort you out, but also let's sort you out who's watching right now. Now, I've got right here, 50 yards to the middle of the green and that flag is bob on middle right that flag is bob on middle so that's for us where this issue is going to stem and, it, and the flag is tight to that bunker so this makes that shot even more tough because i've got to be super super accurate with it now where you're all going wrong with this and where andy i think probably is going to go wrong with this is we stand to this as if we've got a seven iron in our hand so shoulder width apart stance no weight on the left side and sort of weight 50 50. also and this is where i see on the lesson t is we all tend to swing the same distance and try and control our distance by slowing that club up on the way down that is wrong we've got to be narrower we've got to accelerate into the golf ball just like this i've got my 54 degree here this is perfect for my half shot sort of 50 yarder now listen to what I said to her. I knew what club, or I know what club, is good for that distance. Okay, setup wise, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. You're not going to be scared of these any longer. I want you to go two club head widths apart on your stance. Nice and simple, really easy to remember that. Your ball position on your back club head. Address that golf ball and grip in the middle of your golf club. Wait on your left hand side and just pull that left foot back slightly. Now, why that's really important, if you think of the long game, we're all trying to get into impact, hips open to shoulders. Well, because it's a shorter swing, we've now got a good chance of doing that without firing them, because we don't want to see too much fire. And having that weight on our left helps us hit down on the golf ball. So just like this, let's hit this one away, and we're going to go into the technique a little bit more. That strike just felt really nice, really assertive, and we are pin high delicious. Okay, now this is where I, I'm going to touch on that second half of where we're going wrong. And a lot of you can probably relate to this, swinging the same distance and trying to slow that club up and almost feel a deaccelerating and this jerky, jumpy motion. I want you to do this. How many wedges do you usually carry? I carry three, so I've got 50, 54, and 58 as my specialist. I've also got a pitching wedge in my set. I'd love to hear what wedges you've got and set up a table just like this, okay? Now, the L-shaped swing is the same setup, but what I want you to do is swing to the position where your left arm is parallel to the ground and probably sort of maybe 10 centimeters, 12 centimeters, short of our right shoulder. Now, if you're swinging to this point and accelerating to this point, that ball will go a certain distance with my 54. That ball will go a slightly different distance with your 50 and then with your 58. So going down the driving range, just put five balls aside for each wedge at the end of your session, maybe even at the start, just to hit in that position. Back, through, back, through and you'll be able to stand here and assertively hit away. So this is my L-shaped position. I've got the control. I'm not having to control that speed on the way down. The best way I can describe it, think of it this way. It's like an elastic band. I'm pulling it back, I'm just letting it go. I'm not having to pull it back and slow it up and in. And if you want to take this one stage further, finally, just swing one for another position to shoulder height. So all you're gonna do then is swing to this position and through to this position. And the moral of the story is have a good setup and know 
you can accelerate through that golf ball with so much more confidence. Have a look at these here. This is my nine o'clock one, just a little bit short. And my hands to shoulder, because it's a little bit colder today, was absolutely spot on. We would take those all day long. Sandy, and for everybody else, you have to go and give that a go. And if it does help you change your game, do let me know too.